Hello, this is Pete, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate a method for converting an advanced steel model into something that's useful inside of Inventor. So just to warn you, there's no direct link currently between advanced steel and Inventor. Any CAD doesn't work, so this process will create a standalone one-off model, but it is an effective way if you have to design supporting systems to a steel structure. So the first step in the process um, which I've gathered, and, and I've not completely come up with this on my own, but I didn't see a lot of videos on this. So this is a process I found online, but I wanted to document it with the video, is to come into an advanced steel model, and you want to save a copy of it. So that's this version here. And in this copy, oops, trying to zoom in here. There it is. In this copied version, then you would want to use a command to convert it to AutoCAD solids. That's kind of the first thing. And it's this ASTOR explode to ACIS command. Now I've already run that, so I don't have to run it again, but that will take this advanced steel model and convert it into AutoCAD solids that you can utilize. And then once you've done that, I'm, uh, I've, and it's read only, only because I have it open in my auto, other AutoCAD. And inside of here, you can see there's a lot of data in here. So what I would recommend is getting rid of stuff that you don't need. So things like, I've already deleted some of the fasteners. Um, I'll grab another fastener here. Oh, oh, ha, ha, ha. I'll zoom in a little bit more, then grab a fastener. And then you can do the select similar. It grabs all of them. And then I can press the delete key and it removes them. So, I mean, you can remove anything that you don't really need. Like if I just need the structure, I can get rid of all these panels, etc. The connecting clips, you get the idea. It's all solid geometry now. So whatever is not going to be necessary, you could get rid of all of those types of shapes. So it's completely up to you. I'll leave that for now. And then the next step in the process is you could either convert it. There's a step out. And so that would create a step file from this. So if I hit step out and hit enter, and I'll just save over the top of this one. Shouldn't take more than just a few moments. And then inside of Inventor, this is the result. So this is a previous version. So just to show you what it looks like with the new version, it doesn't take terribly long. I can hit open here and there's my Pete step. Hit open. And then just like with, this is now where any kid can come into play. So I'm just going to reference it. I don't need to convert it. So I hit OK. And it only takes a few moments. It's a relatively quick process here because it's a lot less. When I got rid of all those fasteners, it went from about 47 megs down to about 18, 19 megabytes. So yeah, getting rid of stuff that you don't need is, is really helpful. And there is our solid model in Inventor. And we can... Of course, design other supporting structures around it. All the fasteners are gone, which lightens it up. Even that panel I got rid of. So like I said, cleaning it up in AutoCAD is very beneficial. So that's the process for getting it into Inventor. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And have a blessed day.